Fourth, that the EU and we have got into a low equilibrium, somewhat fractious relationship, but that it need not always be like that, but also that it takes two to fix it. And fifth, and finally, that fixing the very serious problem we have in the Northern Ireland Protocol is a prerequisite for getting to that better place. So Brexit will likely strengthen our interest in deep engagement with the traditionally more transatlanticist countries like Portugal, but also the countries in Central and Eastern Europe that bear the direct burden of the pressure from Russia, which is why we take a particular interest in working with the Baltics, with Poland, and in new concepts that we see developing like the Three Seas Initiative. It also means that despite the very visible current difficulties, uh, we'll always look to have a constructive and productive relationship with France. Indeed, one of the reasons why we have such strong military ties with France is, I think, in part, that we both hold a view that the defence of Europe also depends on our willingness and our readiness to act beyond the continent of Europe itself.